guys, welcome back to my subscriber battle series. Today's battle is with my friend Johnny. Um, this match includes a lot of switching, and I mean a lot of switching. It's like a switch war. Um, I led this match with my Talon Flame, which sucked because he sent out Jealous, and, and obviously my first move was to switch out Talon Flame because. Obviously I've got a disadvantage and I was expecting a water move so I sent out my Greninja uh, because he would be able to take the water move rather than lose Talon Flame so early on. So then I go for the Dark Pulse on my next my next turn to try and get a super effective but he switches um, and he switches into Scizor so the, the Dark Pulse doesn't do too much. Um, I think it kind of takes him down to just before like half of his HP. Yeah, so then I switch in my Talonflame again, obviously because I want the, the fire advantage. Um, but this forces a switch from him, um, obviously because he doesn't want to get hit in the face by fire. Um, so I use a Flare Blitz with Talonflame but he sends in a ditto, never been against a ditto before so that was pretty cool um, and the flare blitz does reasonable damage to say that it wasn't very effective, took him below half um, and then in my next turn I use protect, I was kind of just trying to stall him out and scout what kind of move he was going to be using from my set but he went for protect too so I decided to finish him off in the next turn using Brave Bird, um, so that knocks him out and then he sends out his Jellison again, um, which obviously I knew he was gonna, gonna come at me with a scold again, so I switched to Greninja like I did before take the water move but that like that provokes him to switch again um, so like I said a lot of switching going on and in comes Lucario this time and I think he kind of predicted the fact that I was gonna I was gonna use a dark type move so obviously he wants to slap me with a fighting type move so I switched again to Talonflame because I thought well if he's gonna hit get hit by a fighting move probably gonna do less on him but unfortunately it does knock him out um, so at this point I was beginning to think that that gelatin was gonna be a bit of a pain so I sent in my Azumarill um, and I went for the Aqua Jet but that was meant for Lucario um, but he switches into Scizor um, and it takes him down to Mm, a little bit of HP below what he had before, it wasn't too good. So I switched again <laughs> and went with my Greninja. Um, and he used Bullet Punch, it didn't do a lot to me, and then he got hit by his own his own life orb thing. Um, so then um, he, he switched his Scizor out again. And this time it was Kangaskhan. Um, I don't like those at all. <laughs> um, and the Dark Pulse that I used against the Kangaskhan wasn't meant for him, obviously. It was meant for, for the um, Sizzle. Uh, so I decided after he Megas his Kangaskhan, my best bet would be to try and burn him. Uh, so I used Scold. And I was really lucky that turn because it did actually burn him. So I never usually get lucky hits like that, so I was pretty pretty chuffed. Um, and then he switches after his power up punch, which doesn't do a lot to me. Um, he's he raises his attack, but then it gets wasted anyway because he withdraws uh, Kangaskhan. And he sends out a uh, Jellicent again because I think he was predicting the fact that I was going to use Scold to finish him off. And he was smart by switching in Jellicent because the Water Absorb took the Scold. 
not that it needed any more HP, it was already on full. Um, and then he switches his gelatin again, <laughs> all the switching, um, and in comes Lucario. So I hit Lucario with a Dark Pulse, which doesn't do a lot because obviously that was supposed to hit Jellison, but he switched. So confusing, try and keep up. Um, so I switched again. Um, this time I went with Azumarill, and I knew he was going to be expecting me to be probably use an Aqua Jet or play rough. So this time I got a bit cheeky and I used the belly drum and he used bullet punch which didn't do too much to me which meant that belly drum was successful and it triggered my berry which means my health went back up and even though it would have been ideal to have had a bit more HP at this point I was still pretty confident so I went with the aqua jet for a sweep and he switches out his his scissor which works in my favour anyway because he sent out a uh, Gliscor but I didn't go for Aquajet actually I went for Play Rough um, but it works out in my favour anyway because then I use an Aquajet and I KO'd the, the Gliscor so he didn't use, get to use his toxic or poison crap on me um, and then I went for the Aquajet sweep on the Lucario he gets his move in first with his extreme speed and I just managed to hang on with like 8 HP or something and then wipe him out so at this point I'm starting to get like really stressed out because he keeps switching in the between the scissor and the jellicent and I know that he still had Kangaskhan hiding in there so he killed my Azumarill uh, on the next turn but he's like literally hanging on with like the tiniest bit of HP so I went for my Greninja again this time and he switches um, and Jellicent comes back out and this time I got really lucky and I managed to get the Dark Pulse in, uh, gets him down to just below half and I went for a U-turn in my next move because I wanted to switch out because I didn't want Greninja to get killed or for him to switch again. I, I kind of predicted he was going to switch, so I wanted to switch too. Um, but he then didn't switch. He healed himself with Recover. Um, I should have suspected that too, I guess, but I was thinking more of that he was going to switch out. Uh, so I went with the Bomber Snow because he, he will get the hail started, which helps me out tons by hitting his his Pokemon. But then also I wanted the, the grass advantage. Um, so he switches and in comes Kangaskhan. But luckily for me, when I mega my Bomber Snow, I went for the Giga Drain and it manages to knock out Kangaskhan anyway. Um, and he was gonna go down pretty quick, I think, because he was already like below half of his HP and he was burnt. And obviously with the hail, that was just gonna KO him. So he sends out his scissor that's on like teeny tiny HP and finishes himself off with the bullet punch because um, of his life orb. Uh, so at this point, I was, I was feeling pretty confident. Uh, all he got left was his Jellicent and obviously I was going to hit him with a Giga Drain to to take some HP back and that literally gets him on the tiniest bit of HP lucky for me I got the hail on my side and hail knocks out Jellicent so that was like the ultimate switch off there was just so much switching I was getting so confused panicking it was a really good match I really enjoyed it uh, I look forward to battling you again. If you'd like to battle me, then please don't hesitate to comment below, tweet me, follow me on Facebook, whatever. Catch you later.